Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are at the start of our journey creating ourselves an AWS account. So what you need to do is go to aws.amazon.com. If you don't have a lot of confidence how to get there, you just type in AWS into Google, and then click here on the link where it says awsamazon.com. It'll take you to the same place. Now notice we have a big orange button in the top right corner. So this says sign into the AWS console. Um, it's the, if it's the first time you've ever been to this website, so if I go to aws.amazon.com incognito, it will have the create an AWS account button. Um, I don't know why they don't keep this consistent across the board, but I wish they did. But if you are on the screen, you can click here or there. Um, but if you do see something that doesn't say, uh, you know, create an account or, or et cetera, you can just sign in. Okay, and then down below you can hit create a new AWS account. So that's the way you're going to get in there. And so you're going to put an email, a password, uh, and create an AWS account name. Um, I've created this so many times and it's so hard to set up new emails. I'm not going to do this again. It's not complicated. But one thing I need to tell you is that you do need to have a credit card. You cannot create an account without a credit card. Um, and for those who are in places where maybe you don't have a traditional credit card, maybe you can get a prepaid one. So up here in Canada, we have a company called Coho. And so Coho is um, a Visa debit card. And so it's basically a virtual prepaid credit card. And so these do work on the platform as well. So if you have a traditional credit card or possibly could find one of these, uh, you still have to load up with money, but it does give you a bit more flexibility to create that account. So. Uh, what I want you to do is go through that process yourself. It's not complicated, and I'll see you on the other end, okay?